One of the passages that we'll hear in church this weekend is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 11. You'll be made rich in every way so that you may be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. So are you rich? I'm guessing most of us would not identify ourselves as rich, but I'd like to challenge that a bit. If you know a little history, you know that for like 98% of the history of this planet, most people tilled the soil and they did it by hand. Their housing was rudimentary, neither cool in the summer nor warm in the winter. Their clothing, they probably had just a couple of changes of clothes and even that regularly wore out. People felt lucky if they could eat enough to feel full. What a difference for you and for me, huh? Our houses are amazingly comfortable and, and it's during every season. We have a ridiculous variety of clothing, sometimes almost too much. <laughs> and in terms of food, even our humblest meals are like banquets of yesteryear. And don't even get me started on washers and dryers and refrigerators and freezers and microwaves and ovens and dishwashers and TVs and cell phones and rapid vehicles and a good system of roads and airplanes and space travel and likely more to come. You and I are fabulously rich. So to what purpose? Well, you've been made rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. So be generous. Oh, granted, use your money, but be, be generous. And especially be generous in giving some money back to the same God to whom you owe all things. You have very good reason to do that. After all, Jesus Christ has sheltered you and me eternally with his love. Jesus Christ has clothed us in the robes of his righteousness, qualifying us for paradise. Jesus Christ feeds us with a rich supply of forgiveness, not least of which in Holy Communion. We'll see you in church this weekend. And be sure to bring a generous offering in honor of your Savior.